Zan UPF ructions in Mishonaland Central Province have reached the boiling point, with two distinct camps brawling for key positions amid reports that two cabinet ministers belonging to one camp are moving around threatening party members with unspecified action if they dared to vote for the opposing group. Energy and Power Development Minister Jemu Soda who is also District Coordinating Committee Chairman for Muzarabani District is leading the campaign on behalf of Home Affairs Minister Kazim Kazim. Poster. Kazim is seeking re-election as provincial chair. Soda has been accused of recruiting gangs that move around the province threatening supporters of Kazim's main rival, Lazarus Decora, who is seeking to rebound in the party following years of relative obscurity and has emerged as a clear front runner. The other competitor is businessman James Makamba. Soda's alleged gangs have also reportedly been blocking campaign teams for Women's League provincial chairperson, Sitsi Jeezy, who is seeking re-election. Interestingly, Jeezy is the deputy speaker of the National Assembly, in which capacity she is Soda's superior of the legislative front. Highly placed San UPF officials in the province said the campaign has become so deadly it has now divided the volatile province along tribal lines with the Decora camp now reportedly labeling the Chasm camp as studded with foreigners. The issue here is that Soda is originally from Mozambique and Chasm is not originally from this province. So basically, there is a pact between the Zazarus and Korkors against a ground now being referred to as aliens. They say it is our time to rule the province now given that they have been sidelined for too long. So they are now fronting Decora, who has become a clear favorite to win the chairmanship, a source said. Soda has been running the show on behalf of Chasm, and he has literally blocked campaigns from GZ in his district and is trying to spread that to the other districts, the source said. The source also said that Decora Group now has adopted First Lady Exilia Nangagua as its rallying point as she was born and bred in the province. The First Lady is from our province originally, and we are saying she represents our interests. For this reason, we are projecting her as our pillar, the source said. San UPF is in the middle of a massive restructuring exercise as it prepares for the elective Congress due next year. Such events are normally always characterized by serious catfights. Efforts to a comment from Soda were fruitless as he was not answering calls on his mobile phone.